Human rights release human potential. How do we tell if countries are respecting people's human rights and allowing them to flourish? If we want leaders to prioritize human rights, we need to measure them. What gets measured gets improved. Leaders of countries love numbers. What's GDP growth this quarter? How many people are out of a job? But do leaders have all the most important numbers? The Human Rights Measurement Initiative, HERMI, is filling a gap in the human rights ecosystem. We use award-winning and peer-reviewed methodologies to track the human rights performance of countries and publish scores each year on our rights tracker. We want countries to strive to climb to the top, to do their very best. We want leaders to call in their advisors and ask what they need to do to get their human rights scores up. But where is the top? When it comes to the rights to education, food, health, housing and work, what target should a country aim for, especially when every country has a different level of income to spend? International human rights law says that every country needs to do their very best to devote their maximum available resources to improving their people's quality of life. This is called progressive realization. Hermes scores are the first in the world to measure progressive realization, so countries at any level of income can know how well they're doing and have a realistic target to aim for, a goal they're capable of reaching. We discover the realistic target by finding out which countries have the best results at every level of income and comparing each country to that benchmark. We do it like this. Let's take the percentage of young people enrolled in secondary school in every country around the world. We take all the results for the last 20 years and plot them on this graph. Each dot is one country's result for one year. There's a big range. At any level of income, for rich countries and poor ones, there are some places that are setting the target, doing the best we've ever seen, and some that are a long way behind. How close to the target is a country getting? That's the Hermes score, given as a percentage of the target. Every country should be able to get near its 100% target. The lower the score, the more urgent the need for improvement. A low-income country getting 100% will most likely need more resources to improve its people's lives further. You can take these scores to government leaders. Show Guatemala's government that they are far behind other countries with the same level of wealth, even among their local neighbours. Show Malaysia that at their high level of income, they could achieve so much more. You can even combine our scores with population data to show, for instance, that if Guatemala went from its current score to the target of 100%, over a million extra young people would be in secondary school. Human rights release human potential and let people flourish. You can harness the power of Hermes' economic and social rights scores to fuel your country's climb to the top its quest to be its very best. Go to rightstracker.org now.